So the next topic in module one is your MOSFET biasing. Okay, under MOSFET biasing, you are going to study three different types. One is biasing by means of fixing the VGS, biasing by fixing VG and connecting a resistance in the source, and biasing using a drain to gate feedback resistor. So what will be your first? So the circuit diagram of the first configuration that is biasing by fixing VGS is given by so we are going to take an NMOS okay source will be grounded next you have your drain across which you are going to give your drain resistance RD okay and across the gate you are going to give a voltage divider biasing. So this will be your RG1 and this will be your RG2 okay and common supply will be provided uh, to your R, uh, RD that is your drain and the gate. Now you are going to fix your VGS by means of this voltage divider biasing through your VDD from your VDD okay so your VGS is fixed. So this is your first diagram. Now what about your second diagram biasing by fixing VG and connecting a resistance in the source. So the same diagram you are just going to modify it into across the source you are going to connect a resistor. The resistor is taken as RS okay. So what is the next uh, improvisation what you are going to do here the current will be ID here also you will be having the same current flowing ID. The previous diagram also you will be having <coughs> your current ID. Now here you have you are connecting a resistance in the source and fixing the VG. So across the gate you are going to give a fixed voltage VG okay which is a, a standard value okay it is not changed. So the third circuit is biasing using a drain to gate feedback resistor. So what is the difference in this diagram drain to gate feedback resistor here the source will be grounded. You will be giving a resistor RD across your drain. So this is going to be your VDD. Now what is connected? Drain to gate. From the drain to the gate you are going to connect a resistor. That is your uh, feedback resistor. It is taken as RG which is having a high value. Okay. And high impedance so that the current across, this, uh, across the gate is equal to 0. Okay. So these are the three uh, configurations in short. So moving on to the first type that is your uh, biasing by fixing VGS. So the same diagram is drawn once again. So what is the important points here? Biasing MOSFET with a constant VGS generated from VDE using a voltage divider biasing RG1, RG2. Okay. So it is a, a straightforward approach and but it is not a good approach. Why? What is the reason? The reason is given in by this diagram. Okay. If you take the... Uh, uh, take the uh, characteristic graph of your drain current ID, total drain current ID and your total gate to source voltage VGS. You can see that if two uh, uh, devices are used, device 1 and device 2, for small, uh, for a VGS, for a particular VGS, you have a large variation of your ID current, okay. So if you have different devices also, the variation of the ID current should not exceed like this, should not be more, okay. It should be more or less uh, very uh, small okay the variation should be very small see here the use of fixed bias can result in a large variability in value of id device one and two represent the extreme among units of the same type so what is your id current you know that id current in general is given by 1 by 2 into mu and cox w by l into vgs or your over uh, drive voltage vgs minus vt the whole square in the saturation region where vt is your threshold voltage and COX is your, is your oxide capacitance. So this is one of the drawback of your uh, biasing by means. So that is your first type biasing by fixing your VGS. Therefore we go for your second type that is called as biasing by fixing VG and connecting a resistance in the source. This is the diagram which I have drawn. That is a basic arrangement which I have drawn. Okay. So here what is happening your VG is fixed in this case right. So you are and you are connecting an RS. This RS is nothing but your feedback resistor. So it gives a negative feedback so that it will maintain the ID to be constant. So what is happening here VG is constant here right. Now uh, the current as the current ID increases what will happen since VG is constant now VGS will vary and uh, will decrease will vary that is it should decrease so that it will decrease your id current means 
it is uh, opposite to that of the first assumed condition so this will give a negative feedback such that it um, uh, maintains your uh, current id so when you apply the loop equation how can you write so here it is minus to plus so it is plus vg okay here it is plus to minus so second polarity minus vgs and here it is again plus to minus so the same current id so minus id into rs from this can you calculate vg vg will be equal to which is equal to 0 so vg will be equal to bring all to the other side that is how you are getting this equation vg is equal to vgs plus rs into id okay and you can uh, what is the improvisation here so see here when you take the same plot with two different devices you can see that the variation of your id current is very very small compared to that of your first type okay it depends on the slope minus 1 by rs so this is your one of the advantage of your uh, uh, biasing using vg and connecting a resistance in the source one of the advantages the variability of the id is reduced so in uh, you have to give a um, improvisation of this so that it can be used for practical so practical implementation is given by two different circuits one is by using a single power supply and the second is by using a dual power supply okay by using two power supply so this diagram and this diagram gives you the practical implementation so see here what is the only difference this is going to be across the rd or uh, across the drain you are going to connect your resistor rd source resistor feedback resistor across your input you are going to give your voltage divider biasing vg is fixed so how will you get your vg you can apply your voltage divider by so same vdd is applied supply is applied to your gate as well as your drain okay so you can apply your voltage division rule also what will be your voltage division rule vgg will be equal to this is right the resistance total supply voltage vdd into rg2 divided by rg1 plus rg2 okay rg1 plus rg2 so this is one of the practical implementation by using a single power supply by using two power supply if you have you can just modify the circuit by using plus vdd and minus vss this is by means of using two power supply okay now here this diagram uh, gives you the significance of adding a uh, transistor as an amplifier where you are going to give a small input signal which has to be amplified AC signal. So for that you are going to use a coupling capacitor CC1 across the input that is the only difference. You're, so what will happen the uh, capacitor will block DC and will allow AC. Okay, so this will be your coupling of a single source to the gate using a capacitor CC1. So this is the speciality of this circuit. So excellent biasing, uh, VG is equal to VGS plus RS into ID as we have seen before. VG will be greater than VS, when VG is greater than VS, uh, VGS, the RS provides a negative feedback, hence it is also called as degeneration resistance, that is it stabilizes ID. The last one is your biasing your gate to drain to gate feedback resistor as we have seen in the previous uh, uh, first a diagram okay across the drain and the gate you are going to connect a high impedance gate resistance rg it is simple and effective biasing rg is very large as i have mentioned which is which is in the range of mega ohm now uh, since your rg is very very high what will happen the gate voltage will be equal to that of your drain voltage so i can give that vgs is equal to vds when you apply the loop equation what you will be getting plus vdd plus to minus right minus rd into id then you have plus to minus so minus vds is equal to zero from this what will be your vds vds will be equal to vdd minus id rd so i can write that vdd will be equal to from this if you want to find out vdd vdd will be equal to uh, vds plus i rd into id but you know that vds is equal to vgs so i can reconfigure it as vdd is equal to vgs plus id into rd so these are the three important uh, biasing techniques of your mosfet which is given as per your uh, syllabus okay